Hi everybody, it's Jules here. I'm back from Europe. A um, little bit of a glow, probably can't tell. Feeling really relaxed and rested, so thank you all so much for sticking around. I have some new, new subscribers um, while I've been gone, so welcome. Um, I'm just going to show you a little bit about how I packed, what I packed, um, and then go through some of my souvenirs. I'm not sure if I'll do that in a separate video yet, but we'll see. Hey guys, so I'm just unpacking my suitcase here. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you what I packed quickly before I unpacked it all. Um, first of all, I love using this outer pocket for shoes. So I, these are my hotel slippers. And in here, well here's my jacket and then you'll find um, a pair of shoes, sandals actually that I didn't wear that much. Um, probably was a bad thing to bring. I just wore my Birkenstocks pretty much the whole time. Um, basically, I thought it would be a lot hotter than it was. Um, so I have a lot of tank tops. I just got a bunch of these little um, spaghetti strap uh, tops in a bunch of different colors. And they're really great to pair with um, skirts. This is a skirt I picked up at um, Forever 21 or shorts and um, these were my favorite shorts I don't I don't like wearing shorts that are too short when you're touring things um, so these are some cutoffs I did a few years ago um, that are just above the knee so those are really great um, so then I have some summer dresses and I had one pair of jeans I probably could have done with two with two pairs another pair but this was fine luckily I had some family that we could wash some clothes at of course, I have my concert tees. This is one I got last year. That was really fun to wear. Um, I brought one bathing suit. Sorry, this is not all neat here because I'm just unpacking. And then more little cottony dresses such as this that you could just slip on. Um, and it wasn't too terrible if it was wrinkled. You just could sort of deal with it. My baby, he grew so much while we were away. Yes, he did. Yes, you did. You had so much fun at Grandma's house, didn't you? Yeah, you're my good boy. You're my good boy. Look at his long tail. <laughs> I love you. Yes, I do. This is the toiletries pack that I brought to Europe. Um, it folds up quite nicely like so. Um, I'm sure you've seen it hanging behind my door in some of my videos. Um, I'm just going to go through it quickly, show you what I brought and show you what I forgot to bring that I really should have. Um, at the top here I just have tampons, had tweezers and a perfume roller. The middle is makeup which I'll go through after and then behind it are my brushes. And then down here is everything else. Um, my hairspray, deodorant, Q-tips that is now empty, face wash, shampoo, dry shampoo, razor, um, Advil, eye drops, um, gravel, this is my Cetaphil, um, lotion from the hotel, toothpaste, and conditioner. Um, this was okay. I knew this wasn't going to be big enough for my whole trip, my shampoo and conditioner. So I was using hotel stuff, which I don't know if you've used hotel conditioner before, but it sucks. So that was really big downfall for me. Um, as for razor soap, what is it called? Shaving gel? Um, I didn't need it. I just used conditioner and that worked a lot better for me. I didn't want to have to carry that extra um, container. And then actually the small toothpaste wasn't enough either. So we went through a couple. Oh, and here's my toothbrush. Um, one thing I was really missing, as I said, was better conditioner and then some kind of serum. Um, my hair just wasn't soft enough. I have curly hair, obviously. It's harder to deal with. Um, my, pan my oldest Pantene spray worked well, but um, the ends were just really dry, so I didn't enjoy that. As for makeup, um, I like this. Oops, it comes out. They all... Thank you for all falling out. <laughs> um, have my mascara sample, my uh, sunscreen, my Garnier Shine Control, um, moisturizer, eyeliner, <laughs> my early entrance 
Pearl Jam wristband, um, angled brush, blush brush, Bare Minerals, my um, Hard Candy Duo, my Carez Concealer, my um, Eyebrows, another mascara that I didn't bring, I just put in there today actually, uh, my Lash Curler, and then I definitely brought my Boing Concealer, which was a must. Um, I use that every day. My skin was really not cooperating during the trip, which sucked a lot. And this is what I brought. Definitely, definitely, definitely should have had a tinted moisturizer. What was I thinking? Um, I wish I had brought this. My Revlon Color Stay Active. It's in my um, light makeup and it's SPF 25, which would have been fantastic. Um, yeah, and it's my, it's like a really good foundation, but it's lighter and it's like a tinted moisturizer and I don't know why I didn't bring that. Um, other people would probably want to bring BB cream, but as I've said a million times, um, the Garnier one for me is a bit too greasy. So I don't think that would have fared well on the hot travels, even though it wasn't that hot. Um, okay, and then this I forgot to say was a must, is my NARS Trio. As you know, last summer I paid an arm and a leg for it, but it was really, really convenient. Um, my bronzer, orgasm blush, and albatross um, highlight. It's exactly what I needed for the trip. Um, and then just the brushes I brought were my bronzer, fluff, fluffy dual brush, my um, mineral, bare minerals brush. This is for the highlight. And then, actually, I never even really wore my eyeshadow. I don't know. I mean, I know everyone's different when they travel and the amount of makeup they wear. But for me, I was with family. I was touring who was looking at me. I mean, obviously you want to look kind of presentable because a bunch of pictures are being taken of you, I guess. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think I did well. I just wish I had that um, tin and moisturizer, as I told you about. So, um, that's it for packing. Um, the one thing I would say is definitely plan ahead. Think about what you're going to need. Make a list and try to follow it. I mean, it's hard to think of everything and um, you're obviously going to do some shopping on the trip as well. Sorry, I'm just going to put that there. So that is definitely probably my last bit of advice to you is do remember that you will be shopping and leave some room in the suitcase for that because you might be like me and need to buy another bag, carry-on bag, or um, I found me and my husband were kind of arguing a little bit. I was like, oh, can you put this in your bag? He's like, no, my bag's already full. I was like, well, what did you expect? And you knew we were shopping. He's like, well, I didn't think you'd be shopping that much. So um, I think it's good to talk about it and just kind of explain that vacation equals shopping and you need some extra room in the suitcase and whatever. So um, that is it um, for my traveling bags. Um, I will do a video about what we did and saw with some pictures, I guess. And then I can do a video about um, our, my Pearl Jam experience if anyone is interested in that. Um, but that is all. I am just melting away here. The air conditioning back home doesn't work. It was like, well, we are in Celsius um, in Canada and in Europe, but it was like 18 degrees Celsius in Europe, like pretty much the whole time, and we come back home and it was like 38. So we weren't ready, and this is me adjusting. So that's all. I'll quit rambling. Um, we'll talk to you very soon. wonder what I have up my sleeve next. I don't know. You'll have to see. Okay, take care. Bye.